Over the years, we have featured hundreds of creepy or unexplained images, and they are probably our favourite thing to investigate. Obviously a lot of them can be easily explained, and some of the most convincing ones are often debunked, but every now and then we come across ones that we think deserve a closer look. So here we look at five mysterious and terrifying images that as of yet are not fully explained. Hit those lights, sit back, and enjoy. Scanlan Ghost Scanlan Seminary is located in a remote location in Scotland, and dates back to 1716. Throughout the 18th century, it was the only place in Scotland where young men were educated to be priests, and at a time when Catholicism was still illegal in Scotland, these priests became known as the Heather Priests. The facility was vital during this period to keep the traditional Catholic faith alive in Scotland, and although the building was under constant threat from soldiers, it kept going, and over a hundred priests trained there. Eventually, the teaching moved to bigger, less remote premises, but the Scanlan building still stands, and today is a museum that is open all year to the public. So it's not surprising with the age and history of the place, that over the years, it's gained a reputation for being a bit creepy, and although no violent deaths occurred in the building, there were people that died there of other causes. So when this photograph was posted on Facebook in 2015, it sparked a debate about whether the figure in the window was the lingering spirit of a former priest, or possibly one of the teachers. Take a look. Many believe it's the ghost of John Patterson, one of the Catholic teachers at the college who died in the building of natural causes in 1783. Others believe it's a former Catholic trainee of the college who went on to become a monk, and whose creepy hooded spirit still visits the place where he learned his trade. At the time, it wasn't unusual for Catholic priests to be hunted down and murdered by government soldiers. So what do you think? Creepy monk, dead teacher, or something else? Spirit of a dead relative In 2017, Safai Alves' grandmother died, so she travelled to Turkey from her home in Melbourne, Australia, to attend the funeral. When she returned a few days later, and sat with her husband watching TV, his daughter Dania decided to take a photo of the pair on her phone. But when Dana viewed the photo and zoomed in, there appeared to be an uninvited guest peering through the window. After showing Safai the image, she instantly recognised it as her deceased grandmother when she was a young woman. Now, our first thoughts were that it was a double exposure, and the creepy face is a reflection of Safai in the glass. However, the family are adamant that this is not the case, and they believe it's the ghost of their grandmother watching over them. She was incredibly close to her grandmother, and after her death, she could feel her presence all around, and felt that she was watching over her. Before the incident, the family were very sceptical about the paranormal, but since the photograph, they've changed their views. What do you make of it? Alien on the ceiling So you're sitting in your living room relaxing after a long day. You look up and spot this hanging on the ceiling. This strange alien-looking creature appeared in a home in Bali, Indonesia. And although Indonesia has an array of exotic creatures, no one seems to recognise what this one was. The person who took the photograph said it looked partially translucent and somewhat hairy, with odd-looking tentacles and wings. He thought it had come inside to avoid the recent heavy rain. However, remarkably, rather than running a mile, he decided to let the creature stay another night before coaxing it outside. After an appeal for information, many believed it to be a species of moth, and although it does look a bit similar, the creature has never been positively identified. What do you think it is? The Burning Monk in the Village The village is a small house-like building located in Mansfield, Nottinghamshire. It's a sinister looking place that during the 1800s was a slaughterhouse, and then a malt house. Before the house was built, the site was occupied by a barn that allegedly had a tunnel underneath that led to Newtsteed Abbey. That was used frequently by the resident monk to escape the English authorities during the dissolution of the monasteries in the 1500s. Nowadays the building is an activity centre, and due to the many incidents of the paranormal activity, it's also one of the most popular ghost hunting haunts in the UK. It's said to be haunted by an array of former residents, but perhaps the most prominent spirit is that of Mr. Merriweather, the former owner of the Malt House, 
who lived there until his death in 1835. A female spirit named Catherine was also a frequent visitor, and it's alleged she was murdered in the house along with her baby, who can often be heard crying. There is also a piano that plays by itself, as well as the restless souls of prisoners who were held captive in secret rooms within the building. In 2016, the village attracted international press coverage, when a video emerged showing the moment an unexplained mist engulfed a laser tag play centre located inside the building. It was not visible to the naked eye and only showed up after viewing camera footage. Now, if that's not strange enough, take a look at the next image. It was caught on camera by Tania and Jared Copeman, who visited the village as part of an organised ghost hunt in 2018. During the visit, Tanya took two photographs in the cellar, and when they reviewed the snaps, this is what they saw. The evil looking face with demonic eyes was certainly not visible to the couple when the photograph was taken, but when they showed their tour guide Lee, he was convinced the creepy face could be one of the seven monks who burned to death in the building many years ago. Lee also checked the CCTV to rule out that anyone else had been in that room when the photo was taken, which revealed the couple were completely alone. If you look closely, it does look like the face is burned, or certainly very dirty, which could support the burning monk theory. And to add to that, Tanya claims she felt a burning sensation on her face in the same area before she knew that monks had been burned alive there. What do you think of it? Unknown figure at crash site. This next photograph was sent to fellow YouTuber Bedtime Stories, one of his subscribers who was hiking in the Superstition Mountains in 2015 sent him the image. He and a number of friends had happened to cross a wreckage relating to a light aircraft that had crashed there during December of 2011, killing all on board. The group decided to take a rest at the crash site, and whilst doing so, one individual took a number of photographs on his phone. After a week, he had returned home from the trip, he was showing his mother the photos he had taken, and she pointed out something in the shot that was standing a short distance behind the group. Take a look. It appears to be a male figure dressed in all white, staring directly into the camera, approximately 15 meters behind them. The figure in question had not been there on the day the photo was taken, and there is no way it could have been where it was. His group was on its way back from an area that only had one access route, one way in and one way out. For the figure to have been standing behind them, it would have had to have walked past them first, yet no one saw it. It's creepy, as the skin looks charred and burned. What do you make of it? So that's five mysterious and unexplained photographs. We'd love to hear your thoughts and theories on these in the comment section below, and we hope you're enjoying all of these creepy videos. October is by far our favourite month of the year. Thanks for watching, and as always, we'll see you in the next video.